What's going on guys, Killer6 back with another Borderlands 3 video for you, and then in this one we're covering another rare enemy spawn in Borderlands 3. Now unlike the first rare enemy that I covered, the Demo Skagen, you can click the link at the top of the screen to go check that out, this one actually appears to have a solid legendary drop, but more on that in just a moment. So our rare enemy in this video is Borman Nates. Now obviously this is a reference to Norman Bates from Alfred Hitchcock's legendary suspense masterpiece, Psycho. Why, she wouldn't even harm a fly. Which makes this a pseudo easter egg as well. Borman spawns frequently at this spot on the map in the Meridian outskirts. Just follow the route that you see me taking here and go up to the top platform for a chance to spawn him in. Now, a cool little speed tactic that you can do here is go to the back of the elevator with your vehicle, jump up on the back side of the elevator, and this skips having to wait for that slow elevator to go up. Note that this is also a bounty hunt, and those occasionally will show up on the wall directly across from the golden key chest on Sanctuary, but he can spawn without ever accepting that bounty as well. Another cool thing about this is that with these rare badass type enemies, when you find and kill them, other people on your friends list will now see that bounty pop up on their bounty wall in Sanctuary so that they can go and hunt and kill them too. Borman is a pretty tough enemy, and he has a shield in addition to his normal health, so take something shock elemental if possible to rip his shield first, and then use fire to take down his health. Funny little aside about this is that Borman, much like Norman, appears to be wearing mother's wig and wielding a big ass knife. Now the legendary that Borman Nates drops is the pointy psycho stabber and at level 11 the stats are 26 damage, 69% accuracy, 58% handling, repair time of 3.5 seconds which we've covered before on COV weapons just means basically reload time. Fire rate 3.67 per second and shots to break is 59 so basically after 59 shots you're going to have to fix it by reloading it essentially or spraying it with water whatever it does on this particular weapon. The red text says fa 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 which is a reference to the uh, psycho killer song by Talking Heads which was popular back in the 80s. Additional stats are 37% weapon damage, 120% melee damage, which makes it actually stronger, at least from the front, than the butt plug in terms of melee damage. And uh, down in the extra text it says, unlimited magazine size weapon heats up and eventually will break, which is standard for COV. Another cool thing about this gun is that it actually shoots out knives. So, is this worth getting? Sure, why not? If you're going to do any kind of melee build, then this will be good for you. This is actually a really good get. It's a really easy farm. It takes about 30 seconds total to get there and kill him if you're geared properly. So it's really easy to get. So definitely, definitely get this thing. So that's all I got for you in this video, guys. I hope this was helpful to you guys. If it was, then please take a second and hit that like button. Hit subscribe and tap that bell icon to be notified whenever I post a new video. Thank you guys for watching. Take care.